Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. What's good, everybody? It's Destin Choice and watching Choice TV. Before you click away, if you're new to my channel, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe if you don't want to, but this is just me saying I'm going to express my thoughts and I'm going to say how I feel about the situation because I was scrolling through via Twitter and somebody brought this to my attention. So I was like, yo, like I really just heard about this like two minutes ago. What the fuck is going on? So I did my research and I tried to find out what was going on and what the whole situation with that. And I find out that it was just two idiotic motherfuckers speeding for some motherfucking fame. Here's the real deal and here's the real spell on the situation. Basically, two people, a YouTube couple, basically a 19 year old girl named Mona Lisa and a boy named Eric Perez. I think that was his name, I'm not even sure. But basically they have a YouTube channel called La Mona Lisa and it's basically like a family channel, couple channel, whatever you want to call it. There's so many of those on YouTube and so many of those are so successful without idiotic behavior. These people, these motherfuckers had the nerve to think that they were going to go viral and things were going to be so well for them on YouTube, but it was just them, it was just two idiotic adults, mind you, grown adults, who, by the way, the guy wanted to go viral, he wanted to do something that was going to make the channel be popping, and guess what, the channel's popping and getting a lot of views, but uh, unfortunately, only one of them is able to see the progress and view count of the channel. Some boy, who was the other half of the channel, Eric Perez, I believe that was his name, decided to hold up like 12 or 20 encyclopedia books, like a huge stack of encyclopedia books, and told his girl to shoot the encyclopedia books just to see if it would go viral and just to see if the bullet wouldn't go through. Held up the books, boom, it went right through the book and he died. Basically, this girl called the police, explained to the police the whole situation, how they're trying to do a YouTube video and a helicopter come, all this shit came, trying to rush him to the hospital and before you know it, before they even got to the hospital, he died. He died because he was trying to achieve a virility and fame. And it's crazy because all these social experiment channels, all these couple channels who are doing all these crazy fake social experiments and these fake things, they're only popping and blowing up because they weren't idiots. Like they actually tried to gain virility for being fake. Like they actually lied and most people would have lied and said, oh yeah, he didn't work, blah, blah, blah. That's because they're thinking smart. They know that they're gonna risk their life for fame and views and stuff. If you look for a quick buck, you will never have a buck. Easy come, easy go, like they always say. That's just how things flow. She decided to shoot him and agreed to do it. She even tweeted prior to the situation and said, we're about to film a dangerous prank, his idea, not mine. And now this thing is on global head news, like global news. Everyone's talking about this whole situation. I Everybody wants to make a joke out of everything, but that's social media for you and that's YouTube for you. My personal opinion, I think these two are very fucking stupid. One of them is dead, other one is facing maybe 10 years in jail, and then this bitch is pregnant. This bitch is actually pregnant, and they already have a kid. And apparently, according to the police report, her other kid that they have was sitting in the room as she was shooting a fucking caliber at the book, hoping that it wouldn't go through. These fucking idiots. Now there's everybody getting famous over the dumbest shit. Like, look at the Cash Me Outside, bitch. You got uh, JJ Fish, Welvin, all these damn people over here doing the most stupidest shit to go viral. All the people are going viral over the stupidest shit. You really don't need to try to do stupid things to go viral. Because, you know what? Here's some tea for y'all. Here's the secret to growing your YouTube channel. The secret to growing your YouTube channel is consistency. That's all it takes. Consistency. Because ain't nothing much to going you know, viral and making videos and having them take off. All you gotta do is just hold the camera in front of you and record. And that's what they did. And apparently a lot of people are looking for this video. A lot of people are saying, where's the video? I'm trying to find the video, but none of the videos are on social media. The video was never posted to social media. And even if it was, it would have been taken down within hours because that goes past YouTube's guidelines. So had they been trying to gain famous fame and virility, 
it probably would have went downhill within a while because the video wouldn't have lasted online. The video has obviously been snatched and confiscated and seized for evidence so that FBI and police can, you know, investigate furthermore. But this girl should be ashamed of herself. This guy is obviously dead and obviously can't see all of this through. Things didn't work out. They tried to gain viral success and ended up failing. And I think it's really sad and fucked up how nowadays. Like, think about it. Had the thing worked, had the shooting the textbooks thing worked, Imagine how many little kids would have tried it. I bet you now that it didn't work and people seeing all this shit on the news and seeing this shit be on TV, I bet now kids ain't gonna try it because it is something that some little kid would have done had it worked for him. So maybe it took one life to save millions more. Think about it, cause had, cause what if he did with encyclopedia books and somebody decided to do it with fucking coloring books or a journal or a damn pencil sharpener or some shit. It's crazy how nowadays People are craving virility because I can understand, you know, doing social media, it can alternate to some good cash flow. Like, everybody does social media for publicity. Everyone's doing social media. We all on social media for the same thing. All of us who are doing social media, we all want to reach out to people. We all want to gain some type of publicity. We all want to gain some type of success. But I'm just disgusted on how people are trying to get it. And it's crazy because some people are profiting and getting it. And others are doing the most stupidest, most degrading things for virality and success. Like, eating shit is one thing. Like, you could have ate shit on YouTube and gone viral from doing that. But a gun, a deadly weapon, that's fucking dangerous. Like, never risk your life for views, and people are doing it. Like, all those videos, social experiences, your social experiments you're seeing on YouTube of people saying, gone almost dead, gone too far, he almost died, those are fake, those are stayed. They apparently try to make this shit real, and at first I thought this was a whole publicity stunt, but it's backed up with court evidence, and you can't, you can't deny receipts. This whole situation, I really hope that girl gets some serious jail time. She does not fucking deserve to just be in the real world. Like, the fact that somebody hands you a gun and says, here, shoot me. Are you kidding me, bitch? Like... People like that have no business raising children. Like this girl is 19 and her boyfriend was like 22. With a baby on the way. Idiots these days. I just, I'm just so fucking confused and it actually really fucking annoys me and pisses me off how I work my ass off like actually trying to put out videos and actually trying to make a name for myself on YouTube. And people come at me like, oh wow, you're talking about people, you're talking about things, you're gossiping for views, for subscribers, for attention. At least I'm not making a fool of my fucking self. At least I'm not, I'm not over here doing no fucking stupid shit for attention. At least I'm not over here fucking clocking guns and shooting motherfuckers. I'm in the comfort of my own home being myself. And people over here trying to do something that they're not used to doing or not proud of doing for success. I don't know. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share your thoughts down below. Choice out this bitch. Baby, don't let me. I got a lot going on